Listen and repeat. Against. Blow. Collapse. Distance. Escape. Gather. Heavily. In all directions. In pieces. Lie. Lift. Neighbor. Off his feet. On record. Rain. Realize. Shake. The man who rode a tornado. Nineteen-year-old high school student Matt Suter was visiting his grandmother in her trailer in Missouri, USA. Earlier in the day, the weather was nice, but during the afternoon, dark clouds started gathering in the sky. By night, it was raining heavily, and strong winds were blowing against the trailer. It was then that Matt heard a strange, loud noise. It was like ten aeroplanes around us. He said. Suddenly, the walls, floor, and ceiling started shaking. Furniture was moving around in all directions. Terrified, Matt tried to hold on to the sofa, but he couldn't. Something lifted him off his feet and out as the walls of the trailer were collapsing. When Matt woke up, he was lying on the grass in the middle of a field, four hundred meters from the trailer. He had a cut on his head and some small cuts and bruises on his body. When he realised where he was, he went to a neighbour for help. His neighbour wrapped him in a blanket and drove him back to the trailer. His grandma was okay, but the trailer was in pieces. Matt's grandma was delighted to see him. Matt was very lucky to escape disaster. No other person on record has travelled that distance by tornado and lived to tell the story. For Matt, it was a frightening experience. I always wanted to see a tornado, he said, but I definitely didn't want to be in one. The man who rode a tornado. Matt Suter is a 19-year-old school student from Southwest Missouri in the USA. He was visiting his grandmother in her trailer when something terrible happened. A powerful tornado ripped his grandmother's home apart. They had ignored tornado warnings and were chatting inside the trailer. Suddenly, they heard a roaring sound moving through the nearby trees. It got louder and louder. It was like ten airplanes around us, Suter said. The next thing he knew, the walls, floors, and ceiling were moving, and the floor started shaking like jelly. The front and back doors suddenly blew away. Furniture was moving around in all directions. A heavy lamp swung into Suter's head and cut him. The tornado picked Suter up and carried him out of the trailer. It finally dropped him in a soft, grassy field. An official from the National Weather Service actually measured how far Suter had travelled. It was a record-breaking 400 meters. Suta woke up in the grassy field and realized what had happened. He didn't know if his grandmother was alive. 
lightning lit up the countryside. He ran towards his neighbor's house. Amazingly, apart from a cut on his head and a few small cuts and bruises on his body, Matt was okay. His neighbor wrapped him in a blanket and drove him back to the trailer. His grandma had survived the tornado, but the trailer was in pieces. But she was just delighted to see Matt again. She hadn't expected him to survive. Matt was lucky to escape with his life. No other person has traveled that far and lived to tell the tale. He said of his frightening experience, I had always wanted to see a tornado, but I definitely didn't want to be in one. 